All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about the top five best investments under $5. So the reason I decided to make this video is because I have had a lot of comments and a lot of people talking about really cheap investments that they can make with their money. And I think it is important to talk about the cheaper investments because not only can people who have more money invest into a lot of those items, but people who have less money and want to just kind of put some aside to invest in some small stuff can also do that as well. Before we get to that, though, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Skinport.com. Skinport.com com is a beautiful site with a minimalist UI, very easy to navigate and find the skins that you want. They have a great set of filters that you can use to find all the skins that you want and really great prices of course, which is probably the most important thing. They have over 150,000 items listed on the site as well, which is absolutely insane. With a clean UI, great prices and tons of items to choose from, there's not really any reason not to use it. And if you do want to go ahead and support the channel while buying stuff on Skinport, be sure to use the link in the description below. Anyway guys, let's get into this video. Alright guys, let's talk about some cheap investments. So obviously all of these investments are to be under five dollars on the same community markets and you can actually get them even cheaper on cash trading sites just like skinport so if you want to go ahead and get better profit margins be sure to do that and be sure to use my link as well regardless of where you decide to buy your skins at though guys the number five spot on this list is still going to be the community sticker capsule one so this is a great item to invest in it's been showing a lot of great returns over the past couple months here and i expect it to do pretty well over the next few months as well it has a lot of really great stickers in it including some of the amazing ones like the swag foil for example which is a very popular one to use on craft at the moments it actually features a really solid lineup of foils which if you know sticker capsules that's a very important aspect of them so this item is going to run you about four dollars and fifty cents at the moment on the same community markets and it is going to be one of the best ones to buy in bulk of course or if you just want to get a couple of them you can probably make a few dollars on it over the next few months so regardless if you're buying just a couple of them or if you're buying a whole bunch of them you are going to see returns on this it is a pretty solid item it's a very old sticker capsule as well it does feature some of the first stickers released ever in the game which is a really cool aspect of it as well so i think it has a lot of really good factors for its investment potential and for that reason I'm going to recommend it as the number five spot. Moving on to the number four spot I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I included one of these skins from one of these types of collections and so this skin is going to go to the Desert Eagle Midnight Storm in field tested condition from the Rising Sun collection. wanted to make sure I included one item from one of these collections because these Hydra based collections were a really cool thing for CSGO and released a lot of great investments for the future as we did get the Shadowweb new collections which means we're probably not going to see these older ones anytime soon as a re-release. For that reason, pretty much everything in the collections is going to be solid going forward, but I really think the Desert Eagle Midnight Storm is a great one to watch out for, especially because you can still get it for under $5 in its field tested condition in the Rising Sun collection. Personally, I find the skin a little bit bland in game, but I do think it has a pretty interesting design, and I do like the blue on it as well, which is really cool. So it's going to be a great option going forward. It does have a lot of invest potential just because it does look really solid, and it's also from one of those older collections, one of the ones that has been showing great returns over the past few months. This one's kind for those people who want to have play skins as part of their investment portfolio and I think this is one of the best possible options out of all skins in the game right now. So really that's pretty much all there is to say about it. The skin looks very good in game, it has a lot of good returns over the past few months and it's probably going to continue seeing really good returns as it's not going to get re-released in any new collections in the future, especially because we had those Shadow Web collections released as part of the operation. So for that reason, Desert Eagle Midnight Storm in field tested condition and you can also get a minimal wear one for just a little bit more, about $5.50. The field tested one is going to run you about $4.60 so pretty good price. Now for the number three spot I wanted to make sure that I also included a old collection skin because there are still some old collection skins that are cheap and are good options and so it's going to give a nice contrast to the newer collection skin like the Desert Eagle Midnight Storm. The number three spot for this list is going to go to the SG553 Tornado in field tested condition from the Parker Assault collection so one of the oldest collections in the game. It also features some of the coolest skins in the game in the Glock Fade and also the MP9 Bulldozer. This collection is absolutely phenomenal. It has a lot of great skins in it and of course the SG553 is one of the better looking clean and minimalist SG553s in the game. It's already up to $4.53 so if you want to go ahead and buy into this before it reaches past that $5 mark make sure you do so soon because I can see this really going up soon as the Glock Fade has also risen quite a lot in the past few months as well. Out of all the cheap old skins that you could buy I'd honestly say this one is definitely way up at the top. There's probably some that are pretty close to it as well but I'd honestly say the SG553 Tornado is one of your best picks definitely at the pinnacle. Definitely not the most flashy skin, but it's definitely going to be a flashy one for your profits. Now the number two spot is going to go to two very similar items, but at the same time pretty different. These are going to be the gold web foil and also the shadow rub case. So the gold web foil and shadow rub case have made some pretty insane runs over the past few months here. They've risen up to about $3.50 for the shadow rub case and up to around $14 for the gold web foil. After then they pulled back. I know I've talked about these items a lot over the past few months, but there's good reason for it. These are both phenomenal items to buy into for a lot of reasons. Obviously 
they're very cheap, which means you can take advantage of that multiplication effect by buying a lot of them. And another really cool thing about them is that they are obviously very unobtainable, which is going to build very, very well for them in the future. The Cherub case is obviously going to follow a pretty similar trend run to the Hydra case, and the Gold Up Foil is probably not going to follow a similar trend run to really anything, but it is still going to rise on its own independently. The Gold Web Foil still looks amazing in game, no negative changes there. The Shadow Rub case, of course, did have the knives re released into the Fracture case, but I still think the Shadow Rub case is going to perform well after the Fracture case kind of has died off in terms of hype, as the Shadow Rub case is still going to be a very unobtainable and hard to get case, so for that reason, it's still going to rise very well, especially because the skins in it are still exclusive despite the knives no longer being exclusive. They've shown amazing returns over the past few months, as I said, and I think for those reasons, they're just going to be a really solid option. It's really hard to kind of visualize it at the moment, but you can see with all of the previous runs they've had up to insane prices, that's pretty much what we're going to have to expect in the future as well, except more permanent. So technically the Gold Web Foil is a little bit above $5 on the Steam Community Market, but you can buy it for under $5 on cash sites. The reason I wanted to include it is just because I felt it was important to mention, as it is still pretty cheap right now, and it has pulled back from its previous price of $14, so I think for that reason it's still important to mention it, despite it not actually being under $5. The Shutter Web case though, however, is under $5, and as the Fracture case sort of starts to die off in hype, it's probably a good idea to check one out. Other than that, not much more to say on that topic. Unobtainability is a phenomenal reason for investments doing well. We've seen it in the past so many times, and it's probably only going to carry on to the future. Other than that, though, there is one item that I think is going to be the best possible $5 or under investment that you can make, which is going to go to something that some people might find a little annoying, and that's going to be the upcoming major stickers. So yeah, an item that you can't currently buy, but an item you will be able to buy in the future. So these are going to be major stickers, of course, these are going to be team stickers and also autograph stickers from each of the players that compete in the upcoming tournaments. Now obviously with the thing demonetizing videos, there is going to be a pretty solid argument for the Rio Major having a lot of changes, but I think one of the core features of it is still going to be the sticker sale and the major stickers as well. If you're going to save for anything that's going to be a future investment, this is the one to buy into. These are going to be able to be bought at 25 cents per paper sticker, which is just insane. All of these paper stickers have seen great returns in the past from pretty much every single major, so buying these in at 25 cents is great returns. The best possible one to buy into is going to be Navi, in my opinion. That one always has really solid rises, as simple as one of the most famous players, and Navi, by extension, is one of the most famous teams. Also, be sure to watch out for newcomer teams that are going to be competing at the upcoming Rio tournaments, as they are also going to be really great to invest into, as they have unique logos that you're only going to be able to find on the Rio stickers. As for the hollow and foil stickers, you're going to have to wait a bit for those to come into a good price range, because people are going to have to buy the capsules in order to open them, but they are eventually going to get to a good point where you are going to be able to buy them for good prices. We all saw what the Furio Hollow has done recently, and I really expect something like that to happen soon as well, as they do have to go kind of hard with the Rio Major stickers, as it's been a long time before this Major has actually been started. Now I know this number one spot is a little bit intangible because these items have not actually been put into the game yet, and they are just a guaranteed future release, so the items that I am going to talk about as a tangible first place spot right now are going to be Berlin Paper Stickers because a lot of those still have not reached their peak prices and a lot of them still have a long way to go, especially Navi for example. These probably will drop off once the Rio Major comes up and actually gets a little bit more solidly announced, but for the time being they can be pretty solid for some short-term flipping and some short-term profit, so definitely watch out for those as a more tangible option than the Rio Major stickers at the moment. Anyway guys, that about covers it. I of course want to make these videos as succinct as possible while also not wasting too much time, so that's why I kind of do all my stuff at the end of the video, so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel as I don't beg for subscriptions at the beginning of the video, I kind of wait till you've actually finished it. So if you did actually finish this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, that's a good reason to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot and really helps my channel get discovered. And also, if you don't want to subscribe, at least leave me a like on the video to help me out with that YouTube algorithm because they really screw people over. And if you don't want to contribute to either of those two things, there's always the option to go ahead and buy some skins on Skinport, which you can do with the link in the description below. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and check out my community, my Discord server, and also my Twitter, those are also going to be in the links in the description below. I think those are also great communities and great ways to go ahead and interact with me. So if you have any of those social medias and want to go ahead and check them out, be sure to do so below. And with that, I leave you all in peace. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate the support, and I'm going to see you all next time. Peace.